Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we will be deriving the Euler's energy equation motion, Euler's equation of motion basically, right? And uh, before I go on to derivation part, I would like to inform you about its importance. See, most of the industries which are process or power, they are equipped with the lot of pipes and uh, you know, uh, uh, pipes uh, wherein the fluids are transferring from one place to other place. Now, in this entire process, if you want to measure that at what particular section, what is the energy of the fluid flowing or whether the, whether the, whether the devices are optimally performing or not like compressors and pumps, you need to understand this Euler's equation of motion because it is the basis from where the energy can be quantified in the fluid flowing through the pipe. Okay. So, let us first talk about the derivative of the equation. So, let us say for example, I have the pipe whose pipe and the fluid is flowing in let us say some direction and if I just mark the coordinate system x and y and uh, the flow direction is, uh, is defined by this particular line. Now, let us say I have the cylindrical fluid element and if I zoom into this element, which is a very small element, if I zoom into that to give you more clarity. So, let us say this fluid element is flowing from here to here and this direction is suppose direction s. So, I would just mention the length of the fluid element, let us say it is ds and the area, the cross sectional area is suppose da small element right now what we will do is as per the uh, energy equation we can say that summation of forces acting along s direction should be equals to mass of the element and acceleration of the element along s direction right so now what we will be doing is we will try to see what are the forces acting on this element so one of the major force acting on the element will be weight force which is downward w let us say that the angle between this and this is theta and now uh, this is weight body force now what are the surface forces